kababayan natin dito sa Pilipinas, all around the world, mga ka-DDS. Kasama ko po, the sensational, the controversial, spokes na po siya, spokesperson, presidential spokesperson, Harry Roque. Hello, spokes. Hello. Ang dami mong titulong sinabi, pero ang tamang titulo ay tagahanga ni Moka. Ay, good. Ah. Alam po ninyo, spokes, o oh, yan, masali na tayo, spokes, marami pong excited sa announcement ni Tatay Digong, ni PRRD, na kayo na ngayon magiging bagong Uh, spokesperson. So ano po ang ina ano pong maaasahan namin sa inyo? Well, sa akin naman kasi um, sabi ni presidente kinuha niya ako dahil uh, ako isang abogado at kasing ang hangang bibig ko kasi uh, kung iko-compare sa kanya no, sabi niya pareho kaming merong malikot na mga dila no. So asahan niyo po na hindi tayo papayag na lapastanganin ng presidente natin ng walang kasagutan at binibigyan ko na po ng uh, notice. Yung mga walang yadya na mga naninirar lala, naninira lama kung dati-rate, eh hindi kayo nababato. Bagamat kayo yung babato, no, ngayon po han, maghanda na kayo. Dahil pag kayo yung bato, hindi lang po batong tatapong ko sa inyo, hollow blocks. So ad abangan nyo po mga adobe at hollow blocks na itatapong ko sa inyo na itigil nyo na yung pamamato. Kung gusto nyo po, eh tumulong na lang kayo sa ating bansa sa kadami-daming problema. No? So warning po yan. No? Ay, grabe, hindi po ako mag-aatubali na mambato. In fact, hollow blocks at adobe ang tatapong ko sa inyo. Ay, grabe. Wala pang New Year fireworks na. Oo oh, nga eh. Antay nila pag ako'y nagsimula na. No? <laughs> eh, ganito nga, spokes, ano? Hindi, ka, hindi ka pa officially na-appoint. I mean, wala pa yung papers mo. Pero, marami nang bumabatikos sa'yo. Kilala mo yung mga yon, Yung mga dating nandyan din. Well, alam niyo dun sa mga nanggaling na sa kapangyarihan, eh, nagkaroon naman kayo ng pagkakataon. Ang ginawa niyo naman, palpa kayo, no? Hindi kayo um, gumawa ng mabuti para sa bayan. Teka-teka, tsaka-tsaka na, no? So, ngayon namang merong ibang naglilingkod, hayaan natin, bigyan natin sila ng uh, pagkakataon. Dahil kami naman, pinagbigyan namin kayo ng pagkakataon. Hindi namin namin kayo binato, hindi namin kayo siniraan. Kami nanood hanggang sa kaduluduluhan ng administrasyon na nakalipas. No? Pero wala kami nakita talagang uh, anything na pwedeng maging dahilan para purihin namin kayo. So, sa akin, yung mga bumabato sa akin ngayon, pa kaaga pa lang, mamatay kayo sa inggit. Dahil kayo, tapos na mga panahon nyo, laus na kayo. Kaya pwede ba, move on na kayo. <laughs> Ay, grabe. Hindi ko kinaya ang powers ni Spokes Harry Roque. Ay, nako, so, wala po tayo paligoy-ligoy. No? Kung uh, kaya nila na mangut siya, na gumagamit ang lingwahe hindi maganda, eh, handa po tayo dyan. Handa po tayo dyan. Sanay na sanay po tayo dyan. Eh, eto nga po, ngayon pa lang sobrang bilib na yung ating mga kababayan. Excited na silang makita ka sa Malacanang at saka sa mga press briefing. Pag-usapan naman natin yung press. May ilang, may ilang mainstream media dyan na alam mo naman na nandyan para siraan si Pangulong Duterte. Paano may i-handle itong uh, ganitong, alam mo na, yung kalakaran nilang ganun? Wala well, sa akin kasi matagal na ako nakikipag-ugnayan, uh, nakikipag-tulungan uh, sa ating media. No? At so far naman, wala naman ako masamang karanasan. No? Um, kapag sila nadidemanda ng libelo, dinidepensahan ko sila ng libre. Pag sila ipinapatay, ako tumatay yung abogado no? para maka makamit ang katarungan. So, inaasahan ko naman po na makakapagtulungan tayo. Basta sa akin, totoo lang po at saka hayaan natin na umunlad ang merkado ng mga ideyas, no? ng malayang ideyas. No? So sa akin, um, basta lang po kayo responsable, wala naman po tayong problema, pero ako po abogado rin. No? So hindi naman ako papayag na lapastanganin na lamang na walang basihan. Ayan po. So, abangan po natin si Spokes Harry Roque. Araw-araw na po natin siyang makikita at chikahan tayo. Marami tayong mga chika-chika. At syempre po, ito na nga po, lastly, uh, message nyo po sa mga supporters ni Tatay Digong, message nyo sa mga kababayan natin. At hello pala kay Sas, Rogando Sasot. Hi Sas and Hi, Mountain Sas. Conlan. Sana magkita na tayo Sas, no? dahil di pa kami nakikita. O doon isang araw nakita kami ni... Uh, Um, sino ba ito? RJ. Si, uh, si RJ, no? O oh, nakita Pinoy. kami sa si Thinking Pinoy doon sa isang debate, no? So, um, sa ating mga kababayan, um, binigyan po tayo ng pagkakataon na manilbihan sa bayan. Tayo naman po ay uh, 
hindi po pwedeng tumanggay sa ganitong pagkakataon. Ang aking pangako po, katotohanan, at hindi po tayo papayag na lapastanganin ang uh, hinalal ng taong bayan na napakadami. No? Yung mga hindi makaantay hanggang sa susunod na eleksyon sa 2022, isa lang pong mapapayo ko, manigas kayong lahat. Ayan po mga, ka mga kaibigan, mga ka-DDS, Spokes Harry Roque. Solid. Solid po. Solid. Pet malo talaga, Lodi. Say mo, where pa? Where pa? <laughs> Pet malo. Pet malo. Lodi. Lodi. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ayan po. At saka hi kay Maharlika. Ayan. At uh, andito po tayo ngayon sa Maia Terminal 2. Dahil po tayo ay... Pupunta ng Japan. Ayan po, bibisitahin po ni uh, Pangulong Duterte ang Japan. At uh, meron po siyang uh, meeting po. May ikipagkita siya kay Prime Minister Abe. Okay, tutok lang po. Mamaya po. Kita-kita po ulit. Thank you. Hi. CNN Philippines, our guest today, incoming presidential spokesman, Harry Roque. So, you had an interview with Asek Mokauson. So, we, I was wondering, ano kaya magiging style? ni Secretary Harry Roque. Magpapalit ba siya ng style or mas magiging, mas maanghang pa ang mga salita niya? Let's listen to a portion of your interview with Asek Mokauson. Yung mga walang yadya na mga naninira, lala, naninira lama kung dati-rati, eh hindi kayo nababato, bagamat kayo yung nababato, no, ngayon po han, maghanda na kayo. Dahil pag kayo yung nabato, hindi lang po batong tatapo ko sa inyo, hollow blacks. So, ad abangan nyo po mga adobe at hollow blocks na itatapong ko sa inyo. Kaya itigil nyo yung pamamato. Kung gusto nyo po, eh, tumulong na lang kayo sa ating bansa sa kadami-daming problema. No? So, warning po yan. No? Ay, grabe, Hindi po ako mag-aatubli na mambato. In fact, hollow blocks at adobe. <laughs> Saan ang galing yan? What is that? What is that kind of talk? Well, that was Moka Uson. That was, uh, I was addressing the DDS subscribers of the 5.5 million followers of Moka Uson. You see, what was the background? Mm. I'm not a diehard Duterte supporter. I did not even support him in the last election. Didn't you support... Um... Jojo Binay. Binay, yes. yes. And, and you were supposed to run as senator. I don't hide that. No, In fact, he made me congressman. No, He made me campaign in his stage, and I've never made a secret of that. But I've also not made a secret that I've known the president even before the elections. I probably would have supported him had he declared his intentions early. In fact, I had an occasion to talk to him during the elections, and I told him, well, you know, I gave my word already to Jojo Binay. And if at all, at least you know I'm not one to break my word. I will stand by my word. At that time, I knew Jojo Bina was already number four in the mm -hmm. surveys. I well, said I he's about sure. to lose. Mm -hmm. But I have more reason why I should stick by my candidate. No? That way you know that when you win and I give you my word that I will support you, you, you have know it till the end. that you'll have it till okay. the end. No? But so what the was problem that is, talk about? That is that talk, the kind of spokesperson we're going to see? That was intended for target audience, and that's the DDS, the Moka Uson followers. Now, I'm even surprised that the mainstream media made her into a new source. No? Mm. And of course, I have to tell you, she's very thrilled that CNN asked for permission to use her video. No? Now, as far as Moka Uson is concerned, I think it's now, you know, mainstream media has to make up its mind but what I'm not to talking make about, of her. But I'm not talking about Moka Uson, I'm talking about you. When you yes. spoke to her, is that the kind of style we're going to expect from Secretary Harry Rock? I was back. addressing a specific audience, and that's the DDS. The DDS who may have inhibitions about the fact that um, I was not an original supporter of President Duterte, and they're unsure if I'm going to be an effective spokesperson for the president. No? You're so even it was thinking a about that because yes. during that interview of Asak Mokas Uson with you, puro uh, yung sa Facebook, puro hearts, puro thumbs up. I mean, it, to me, what at least I saw, yeah. they were approving of you. Yeah, but because I said it. I had to say it. I had to make my position clear to the DDS and I did. Okay. So having said that already, I move on. So, are you going to be that way to target a certain audience when you speak as uh, as the presidential spokesperson? Is well, it one day are you going to say, no, Pinky, that was really just for the DDS? It's really all about communication. No? And I've always uh, believed that the kind of style that you use depends on who your audience is. Otherwise, if you don't use the right style for the particular audience, 
they get bored. So, no? it, magiging iba-ibang style mo. Iba -ibang style I, I, I want to see what kind of Harry Roque will be, will be, well, we can expect. We've, you've been interviewing me since 2004. I don't think I've exhibited that kind of a language for <laughs> CNN or for any of your stations in the past. No, But it was important for me mm -hmm. to get the support of the DDS. So because that's I why. knew without their support, um, I would not be effective. Okay, no? there's another one. We're going to play that next video with the interview with Asek Mokauson. Mm. Yung mga bumabato sa akin ngayon pa kaaga pa lang, mamatay kayo sa inggit. Ay kayo, tapos na mga panahon nyo, laus na kayo. Sino ba yun? Same, Sino ba ang laus na? It's the same, it's the same interview. Yes. It's the same audience I'm addressing. And I think you know who these people are. I, these I, are the members of the Yellow Propaganda. Nothing really good to say. Mm -hmm. The types of tweets that they have actually um, um, sent around. No? Well, I won't mention them because okay. anyways, my position is laus na sila. I will not make them any more famous. But... <laughs> Secretary, um, kailangan ko masanay kasi when we interviewed you, attorney ka para, pa lang nun for yes. the most part and yes. then congressman. So, Secretary, Congre Congressman Ed Salagman is one of those quite unhappy or criticized your appointment as spokesperson. He says this, it confirms his dubious role in defending the president's wayward policies even as he is nominally a deputy minority leader of the House of Representatives. The charade is now over as Roque is liberated and obligated to be the president's official apologist. You know, I have not responded to um, Congressman Lagman because I don't think he's worthy to be responded to by an incoming presidential spokesperson. That's the truth. So he can say whatever he, he wants to say. I'm not going to um, give credence to any of his statement. No, but I have to say this. There was a case decided by the Supreme Court. He argued for Congressman Baguilat. I argued for Congressman Suarez on who the true minority is. We won fair and square. Uh -huh. So when he talks about masquerading, excuse yes. me, I have a Supreme Court decision saying we are the true minority. But how can you be a minority and be allied with the president? You know, being How a minority in Congress has nothing to do with who you support as president. It's who you voted for as speaker. Either you voted for Congressman Alvarez or you voted for Congressman Suarez or Congressman Baguila. Now, I made a choice to be in the minority. Why? Even if I knew I was going to support the president, there were issues I could not support the president. No, The death penalty, I the lowering of the um, age of liability. criminal responsibility. Mm -hmm. And I ended up voting no to the death penalty. No, So how could I have... I joined the majority and knowing that when the vote comes on the death penalty, I would vote no. So mm -hmm. I felt, well, given a choice, um, I'd rather be in the minority para walang samaan ng loob, no? Because it's a matter of personal conviction. Oh, so, paano yan ngayon? Because the president espouses the restoration of the death penalty and lowering the criminal liability, sir. So and be the... it. I'm a spokesperson. I have to carry the line now, but at least I voted in Congress and people know my personal So, conviction. you're still consistent with saying no to the death penalty? Being naman a spokesperson will not change my beliefs, no? Yes, I'm still against the death penalty, but as spokesperson, I have now to use the line of the president. All right. So, leaving Congress, when are you resigning as Kabayan Party List Representative, sir? We're on recess, no? So there's really no urgency, no? Because there's no legislative work, no? That's why I want to um, discharge my functions, have a feel for it, and hey, maybe decide, no? Later on, if I really want so to stay or go. you're not going to resign yet? I'm not resigning yet. Just because yet. Upon advice also of a colleague in Congress. This who's is um, Congressman Rudito Albano, who's a member of the Commission <laughs> si Congressman Appointment. Albano, yeah. Now, I know I'm not subject to confirmation, but we will have to verify that. Because okay. although I have the rank of a cabinet, I don't have a portfolio. So you plan to stay as Congressman for, me, for the meantime and presidential spokesperson? Well, I'm not... I'm incoming presidential yes. spokesperson because I've not taken the oath. No? And so far, I'm able to discharge my functions. Why? Because what else do you do as a spokesperson? You just speak. No, You don't award contracts. You don't sign anything. Okay. So there's really no legal impediment to it. No? And meanwhile, Congress is on break. Mm -hmm. So I have until November 20 when um, Congress resumes no? to actually resign from Congress. But meanwhile... And I'm very clear on this. I want a firm commitment from the House that they will accord me justice. No? Because it's been a year and four months that I have filed seven ethics complaints against my number two uh, nominee. And until now, 
Um, it's been heard. There's been pre preliminary determination that it's sufficient to inform in substance, but I want to be accorded justice. Siguro naman ngayon that I'm part of the executive and the mouth and the voice of the president, they will accord me justice. I'm not saying how they should but, decide. But, but Congressman slash Secretary, if you resign, your second, your number two will be the Congressman, right? Well, he is right? in Congress right now because yeah. um, I campaigned on my own and got enough votes to bring him to Congress as well. No? Yes. But um, I want justice. But they wanted to boot you out how many times? Yeah, yeah. but they were not able to. See, yeah. that's the problem. No? All right. So I, I want justice. I want an assurance that I will be accorded justice. Unfortunately, everyone's on break. Okay, but uh, before we go on a break, I just wanted to ask, well, siguro, sir, um, would you say that meron kang konting kaba na baka mamaya may masabi kang mali o hindi magdusuhan ng Pangulo ang style mo or yung pananalita mo o yung magiging sagot mo that he might fire you? Wala that... naman. Because I think I was very clear from the very beginning, I will be your liability. No? And he gambled on me. No? Okay. So um, sa akin, wala. Walang ganon. That's All why right. I speak with confidence that I can say what I think the President would say. No? But it's really Congress, no? Come on, people. Anong feeling ko dati kasi? Dihado ako dyan sa Congress. Nagpalibasa kasi minority ako. And my second uh, nominee, it was majority, no? So ngayon namang that I'm, I'm mm -hmm. incoming and supporting the president, all I want is justice. Yeah. I'm not saying kick him out, although I would want that, <laughs> but please, accord me justice. Okay, we'll be taking a short break. This is The Source on CNN Philippines. Uh, delicious. <laughs>